and we're back with more Zoo Tycoon 2. Uh, today, we're going to be playing the very final of the Troubled Zoos campaign, uh, which is Wolverton Animal Rehabilitation Center. And here it is in glorious Finland? No, no, Finland is here. Sweden is on the coast, so this must be Norway. Unless Norway's on the coast, in which case it's Sweden. Uh, I must admit, I don't know, my geography's not that good. I feel ashamed. Uh, but safe to say it is, in fact, Northern Europe. Anyway, so here we go, Wolverton Animal Rehabilitation Center. Uh, the past couple scenarios have been pretty short, but you know, here we are uh, with this one. Maybe it'll be a little bit longer, you never know. Well, uh, we'll see. We're about to see in just a second. An expert panel has criticized your park's handling of animals. This is not my park. They just threw me into it. You know, I'm just saying. But anyway, <clears throat> citing several critical illnesses that have plagued animals in your facility. As a result of this unwanted attention, all of your zookeepers have quit. Wow. You must hire new zookeepers and restore your animals to good health before things can, even, can get even more out of control. At the moment, hunger and illness run rampant through the facility. Although the Blue Fang Development Fund has been able to contribute $5,000 towards your efforts, your funds remain limited as there was no allowance in your annual budget for this sort of emergency. You must continue to generate admissions income to be able to hire sufficient staff. As guests do not enjoy seeing ill animals, it is recommended that you build a quarantine area to isolate, isolate the ill animals. Restore your animals to good condition so that a press conference can put to rest the rumors circulating about your facility. Animals are starving and animals are sick. All right, so they have thrown me in, in the deep end. But, no worry, I've dealt with things like this before, in the last scenario, in the last two scenarios. Like that one with the elephant. I like a good elephant, but, uh, brutal. It was sick and everything. Dirty exhibits. Okay, so let's see, what exactly do we have here? So. Sort animals by sickness. Common zoo. Wow, they really are a lot of sick animals. Um, and there are a lot of hungry animals. So first, while it's on pause, something that I can do from the overworld. The overworld? Mm, I guess. From this overhead view. Overhead view. Uh, is check. So they all have food dishes and such. Food trough. Yeah, they just need to be refilled. So... I'm just going to quickly run through the zoo, healing and filling up food things, you know. Um, hang on, which animal is the sickest? Let's just, let's start with that. It's the zebras. So then, yeah, we'll start with the zebras. And we'll just, um, we'll just do this speed run mode. I mean, not the whole zoo, obviously, but, you know, I'm just, just, ah, I don't know what just happened there, but, all right. Space bar is my best friend. Okay, zebra. Okay, so we're good. Now I'm gonna go down to the beavers. Oh man. All illness among your animals has been eliminated from your facility. Well, that was. That was quick. Um, okay. I guess it was really only the zebra and the beaver that were sick. Of course, all the animals need food and water. All the zookeepers just up and quit? I guess I'm the first zookeeper they rehired. But, you know. Say la vie, eh? Alright. And where? Okay, the fish. Grizzly bear one is really hungry. Alright, so now that all our animals are a little bit, you know, more well taken care of, I can look at them. Do we have any staff at all? Do we have maintenance workers? No, no staff at all. Alright. See, this moose is still sick. It told me that it wasn't a problem, but clearly... Maybe it was only worrying about the very sick animals. Alright, Grizzly Bear 1 is eating some fish. It's a little smaller than I... I mean, when it's a grizzly bear, I, I kind of imagine it to be a little bit larger, right? I think it is a little bit smaller than it should be. The same with the moose, I think. I think the moose, you know, moose are 
You know, moose are pretty large animals, but in this game, I feel like... Actually, come to think of it, I think a lot of the animals in this game are... Well, I don't know. I mean, it is worth pointing out that it's just a video game, so I don't actually feel threatened by these moose. You know, maybe the size is all right. It's just that in real life, an animal that big would be significantly more menacing. But I think that actually a lot of animals in this game are not quite as large as they should be. But, I don't know. I mean, I'm not an expert on animal sizes, I must admit. Alright, now let's see what else is wrong. All of our zebras are still hungry. This one's angry, which is fair. Privacy critical. I should get them a shelter. Well, first we'll wait until we've completed these two objectives. And then we'll start redesigning our zoo. Although, we might just get a little... Oh no, we've only got $5,100. What is... Hang on. Wolverton Center. Moderate. Okay. That's fair. Anyway, I like I I like this zoo. It's it's a cool looking zoo. They've got a nice little post and rope fence. I'm a big fan of the post and rope fence. I'm really sad that it doesn't unlock until like um like three stars or something ridiculous like that. In order to get the post and rope fence, you've got to. But I like this waterfall. This would make a nice like area for like. I don't know, maybe wolves. You could fence that bit off so that they can't run around back through there and then attack the guests that way. And then you got this nice, you know, post and rope fence is not the best fence for keeping animals in, but, you know, it's a large exhibit. I, I don't think they would want to escape. Oh, and there's a little bit of temperate forest here. All right, what has taken my zebras so long? You know, they say you can lead a zebra to hay, but you can't make it eat. Or something like that. Maybe I just made that up. Alright, common zebra one is the only... Only one. He's going to... Or... She's going to drink water. What? She's not even critically thirsty. Critically hungry. Going to drink water. What? I can't... That's interesting. I mean, obviously, I don't want to put the animal up for adoption. I might even, like, lose the scenario. It's like, well, why would you do that? I was, I was like, ah, I don't know. I just thought, it says no. Can't do that. All right, come on, common zebra one. All right, well, since that's taking longer than I would have anticipated, I am going to look over here and see what we can do. Shelters... Yeah, I'll give them one of these. So now they can deal with their privacy need. Oh my goodness. Social. See, again, the adopt button is freaking out. Maybe it's supposed to be grayed out, you know, to prevent me from putting animals up for adoption. But let's see, can I adopt new animals? I can. I'm not going to, obviously. Um, because, you know. Uh, Alright, now back to our grizzly bears. What kind of enrichment? Small ball toy? That's probably our best bet. I'm thinking that the the American beaver... Where's the beaver? That's poop. Oh, it's in the water. Right there. The American beaver has no available enrichment. Although I could release it to the wild, but I don't want to do that, obviously. Uh, so let's go back to our bear. I think I'm going to research this... I'm gonna go ahead and yeah. Our other animals are pretty happy. The zebra. What? What are you doing? What? What are you doing? Stop! Don't do that. Just eat. Eat the hay. Ah, there we go. Also, I noticed it was sick. What? What is it doing? It's going to eat the hay, right? It's just going to do it from a different angle. Mm! Right. Yes. Yes, it is. She is. Right. Go and eat the hay from the food trough. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Turn. Start turning. Start turning to the left. Right. No, left. Yeah. <clears throat> it's left. What? No! Stop! Right there. Right there. You see that? See that? 
Eat the hay from the food trough. Just do it. Okay. Now we're going. Yep. Yep. Although I feel like we've been here before, but this time I, I'm faith. I, I, I got faith. Alright. What, what are you doing? What are you doing? Alright, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to uh, put this here. Put the, put the zebra. And then I'm going to remove the water food trough. Yep. You see that? Oh, I can't. I can't. I don't want to do that. Yeah, Alright, so then we're going to improvise. Like this. Yeah, I'm just going to go over here. And then I'm going to go here. And I'm just going to put a bushel of hay down. Alright. Yep. Investigate it. Investigate it well, my zebra friend. Yes. Yes. Alright. Now that the animals have been fed and are no longer exhibiting signs of illness, a private invitation has been sent to critics inviting them to revisit the facility, maintain your high standards, and increase your zoo fame level to three stars? Yikes. Okay, well, fortunately... Alright, so is it finished eating? Is she finished eating? Looks like it. So now I'm gonna... Put her back. Okay, well, uh... Three stars, that's... That's gonna be... That's definitely not a uh, one-time deal. I might even get to have some wolves. Let's see. Animals. Oh, wolf. Gray. Unlocked at two and a half stars. All right. I think probably I will be able to have some wolves here. I'll make... I might... I might get rid of this area, like this water, and make that land, and then have like a nice little wolf area there with food and stuff, and then... You know, they can run up the cliffs if they want to, but if they can run up the cliffs, I'm not sure. Oh, also, I do want to buy another zookeeper, or hire. <laughs> eh, hire another zookeeper, as it did tell me to do. What, what do we got here? What is, what's your name? Keeper Moon. Perfect for my wolf exhibit. Excellent. Uh, but first, so currently, uh, we've got kind of an no American Beaver 1 needs more space. What do you Oh, because it's, it's trapped on the cliff. Yeah, so we're gonna rescue it. Um, alright, so American Beaver. I guess I don't really wanna put I don't really wanna put a, an African buffalo in with my American Beaver, but I also kind of don't think I have much well, I mean I do have a choice. Oh look. Well that was convenient. Uh yeah. So I don't actually like any of these animals. They're all pretty boring. We've all seen them before. Except for these emperor penguins. I'm thinking they might be a nice addition to this zoo. So I'm going to get an emperor penguin exhibit is what I'm going to do. Uh, first, though. <sighs> Let's see. That's a very small exhibit. I don't want to risk it by putting... And we did have some Gemsbach in our last zoo. We didn't really get to look at them. Which you know is, is my bad. I was I was mostly running around, but but again, I'm not a big fan of antelope. So uh, yeah. ooh, scimitar horned oryxes. I wanted some of those earlier, but I couldn't have them because oh, I still have next to no money. All right, that's not a problem because these penguins are cheap. Um, yeah. I'd like to continue this concrete fence theme. But it looks like that's not going to be an option. Also, I think I'm going to have to put my penguin project on hold. Um, because I think that the first exhibit needs to be a pretty all-encompassing exhibit. Or at least, you know, I need, the, I need to start out with... Yeah, I know what I mean. I need to start out with the best exhibit I can. And that's going to be this desert exhibit with the African Spurred Tortoise and the Scimitar Horned Oryxes. So I can't put more concrete fence, so... So I'm gonna just use alpine rail? No, that's silly. I'm gonna use this. One, two, three. What? Hang on. How, how does that work? 
Yeah, that's in a straight line. One, two, three. Oh, is that really in a straight line? It is. Okay, alright. Uh, and then I guess... Um, yeah, I guess I'll just... Yep, maybe like that, or... Huh. Like this? Uh, not really a, a big deal, but... Yeah, we'll do that, and then one, two, three. This is going to be a large desert exhibit. I might also include some camels later, you know, because it's it's very large. Larger than I had planned on making it. Um, but that shouldn't be a problem. I can just put it right, right through this rock. That's not an issue, apparently. All right. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's not actually that big. Ah, it's so difficult to judge. The question is, will the animals be happy with it? Oh, and I only have enough money for one of them. So, um, I guess we're going to do it this way. And then... And then we'll... Yeah. Now I've got $162. Fortunately, the, uh... uh the terrain paints don't cost anything. Also, fortunately, I can get some money by selling these trees. And I'll leave those little plants just for, uh, for effect. You know, because I'm not going to have enough money to buy any desert plants, so I may as well leave these boreal forest plants. You know, my, my oryx won't care, and I don't really care either. So, I don't know, I just want, like, a smattering of sand up here. Yeah, that's, that's okay, fine. And then hopefully I have enough money for, let's see, 100, 100, 175. Okay, so I'm not going to have enough money for both. Oh! Ha-ha! See? Thinking ahead. That's what I was doing. I may have been giving the impression that I was just doing that. For what? Hang on. That's just a fun little joke we like to play amongst ourselves. See, yeah, there we go. Just a, a cute, it's, it's like a hazing ritual, you know? The first thing you do in the zoo is say that you're unhappy with your enclosure, you know? Actually, that's not just this zoo, that's a lot of zoos, you know? You get in the zoo, you're like, I don't like this exhibit, and then it starts to grow on you. And of course, I'll finish this. Can I, can I place more stone path? Come on, come on. Oh, rats. I can place concrete path. I can place this tundra path, which is a cheap excuse for stone path. But, I mean, tundra path is cool, but it's not going to look good right next to my desert exhibit. Alright, uh, well, that's all we can do for now, because we have $98. So, I'm going to raise the price of this zoo. And that will make my guests unhappy, but what choice do I really have? I'm going to raise the price of everything. I mean, it's Wolverton Animal Rehabilitation Center. You know, guests should know that as they're coming to the zoo, they're helping to rehabilitate animals like... like the critically endangered... Scimitar Horned Oryx. Critically endangered. In fact... Hmm... Well, the point is, it's critically endangered. That's the important part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, is it lonely? I hope it's not too lonely. It's, it's a little lonely. Satisfied. But we can see. But we know. She says she's feeling okay, but... But we know better. Pooping on dirt. Well, it's a good thing she has privacy for that. But, uh... How much? Let's see. Three star zoo fame rating. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to get another beaver until... Oh, and of course, beavers don't have shelters. Eventually, they have the ability to build their own shelters, you know, as beavers do. Uh, but I don't know when... Like, I, I gave them a pile of sticks, and then they'll use those sticks to build their own shelters. It's pretty cool, but... 
Common Zebra 3 is really hungry? Let me guess. No, I guess not. Oh well. I would give them some extra hay, but it's not in this food trough. But maybe they just can't reach it. You know, maybe if I smooth it out just a little bit. Is that better or worse? I don't know. Well, all of a sudden, it's running over here. Yeah, I guess maybe they couldn't reach it. Maybe they still can't. Hang on. I mean, the others, you know, ate from it. Maybe there's like a weird pathing issue where like only one of them can eat at a time, or... I feel like, look at this. This is really weird and messed up. Here, let's... Let's just flat or smooth. There, is that smoother? It's better. Common zebra fold right there. Hey guy. What's up? You like my zebras? I don't really like my zebras. I don't like them. I've got four zebras and they're all hungry. It's really kind of annoying. Like my moose, my moose are not having any trouble eating. Neither are my grizzly bears. In fact, my grizzly bears are vastly more happy. But the research for the small ball toy is complete. However, I don't know if I'm going to buy it. Um, see, their their stimulation is fine. See, look, they're they're talking. To each other. Well, now they're just. Thinking. But I saw. <gasps> wow. Um, pouncing. See, there we go. Stimulation satisfied. That's nice. They can satisfy themselves rather than me having to satisfy them. That's definitely a plus. And then my beaver. Yep, privacy critical. You know, I could also consider replacing this fence. Or that fence, or some fence. I don't know. But, mm, alternatively, maybe not. I don't know, we'll see. Or we won't see. Ah, common zebra, what is up? Alright, this is it. I'm going to buy them a second thing of hay. It's only $100. But I need to because apparently they can't eat so they should be able to eat from that and then my scimitar horned oryx still has its hay oh and she's feeling much better now that's that's good to hear i'm glad that she's fine alone because i don't have the money to buy her a friend um but yeah so what i am going to do is when i have the money i'm going to buy a male scimitar horned oryx and hopefully if we're lucky, they'll breed and have scimitar horned oryx babies, which will be critically endangered babies. And the great thing about endangered babies is that my guests will love them. I mean, I guess, I guess my guests will love all babies, but particularly the critically endangered ones. Because that's, that's what having a zoo is all about. It's the conservation effort. It really is. Um, I mean... I guess you could have a zoo to make money, but that's a silly reason to have a zoo, because it's not making me money right now, so it's all about the conservation. When you release an animal to the water. All right. All right. Oh, look at its, its eyes. Are they supposed to be that color? Not sick, is it? Sick again? No. Where is it? No, healthy. All right, uh, stop jumping. Okay. You know, look at it. It looks like it's got pink eye or something. Hiding in the cattails. Beaver. I mean, I I wouldn't know. I I'm not a beaver expert. Wow. I mean, you know. But.
Alright, well, I think that uh, it's going to take me a while to uh, make this money. February. Yeah, let's check out just one last thing. Profit and then average profit. Ah, so our grizzly bears are definitely making the most money. Isn't there another... Yeah, there's another view. There we go. Donations. Can I sort by animals? I thought that was a thing. Ah, here we go. Guest donation. So it looks like... Yeah, more guests are donating to the beaver, but... The grizzly bear has a higher average donation. And, of course, the zebras have rubbish donations. So no one has even seen... My oh! My goodness. Alright, so this is, uh, this is kind of an embarrassing moment for me. Um, all things considered. Uh, but it might help... If I built a path, you know, just just a just a thought is that building a path might be um, helpful. Might allow guests to see my animal. Yeah, like that, and then I'll just. Then I'll put this right here. Yeah. See, look at that asphalt path. It looks awful. As soon as I get the chance, I'm going to replace it with snow path. But I don't have that chance yet, so I'm not going to do it. And let's smooth this. Let's use a slightly smaller brush. Oh, and of course, you can't smooth with the fence. So I'm not going to be able to do the best smooth job, and honestly, I don't care that much, so. Just so that my guests can walk on it, you know, they, ah, there, they can totally walk on that. In fact, a rough path even adds to the kind of wild feel, so, you know, it's, it's for the best, honestly. Alright, guests, come on, start walking. Start, donate. Scenery, donation box. Here we go. Oh, uh, really? You're gonna do that to me? That's how it is, huh? Alright, can we just, um, can I just, like, like that? Yes. And then, like, that! No, that's exactly what I wanted to avoid, but it's still doing, oh well. That's good enough. What are you, what are you doing? You know, you, you can't get out that way. I don't know, it might be time for me to get a second zookeeper. After all, I do have six exhibits. One, two, three, four. Six. How did I get six exhibits from that? That's only five exhibits. But Moose One is now pregnant, which is great news. Excellent news. Oh, that exhibit is not going to be large enough for three mooses. So, Moose Two is not contained. Moose Two is definitely contained. Don't worry. It was just a, just a momentary thing. We're all good. I almost have enough money to be able to get a second Scimitar Horned Oryx. Or I could just go straight for the Spurred Tortoise, because that would give me a boost for a number of species as well. And my first Scimitar Horned Oryx is mostly fine with having, you know, no friends. So I think that's the best way to go, is to get a s African Spurred Tortoise. They are, of course, both location and biome compatible. I mean, it doesn't really matter if they're not location compatible. I think maybe that has something to do with educational habitats. Oh, wow. If I do say so myself, even though I only actually built one of the habitats. Uh, but I think that, like, if I put the African Buffalo in here, then it would have been less educational or, or something. Alright, so I'm going to wait until I have enough money for an African Spur Tortoise, which is right now! Happy? Uh, it's it's a little happy. It's, it's mostly satisfied. And... Here we go. Yeah. Bad move. See, I should have just gotten the grass to begin with. Oh, but I definitely have enough money, so I'm going to put the grass... Here, I'm going to put it right there. Yeah. 
Actually, I shouldn't have put it quite so far from the water because the tortoises, they move really slowly, like, like really, like absurdly, like ridiculously, like it's, it's, it's absurd how slowly they move. And then like in the time it takes for him to go from the water dish to where the grass was, like he'll be too hungry and he'll be very unhappy. All right, so we've got the beginnings of a nice desert exhibit. Uh, Moose 2 is not contained. That's the message from earlier. He's actually contained. Okay. Um, yeah, so we've got the beginnings of a good desert exhibit. We've got one star out of our goal of three. No, that's goal of three stars, uh, which I guess technically means we're uh, a third of the way there. That's what I think. So um, we'll we'll uh, we'll wrap it up here, and I'll get some more. Mo oh no, too much trash. Oh oh no oh no. Well, yeah, we'll uh, <laughs> we'll wrap it up here, and uh, then I'll 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 be here next time. Yep. Adios.